What's up, my cherry bomb? On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the best Middle Eastern fragrances that's in my collection. I don't know about you guys, but I love a good fragrance and I love a good fragrance on a good price, okay? And Middle Eastern fragrances tend to be very affordable fragrances, but a really high quality juice. If you didn't know already, Middle Eastern fragrances are becoming the it fragrances for real. Now the first fragrance is one that I've been working with for the past couple of months. It is a chocolatey fragrance. Now, this is the most affordable one on the list and it is Choco Must. And as you guys can see, there's a nice little dent. Now this is definitely chocolatey, it's creamy, it's milky in a sense. And it kind of gives off like that powdery vibe. And I'm talking about like cocoa puff powder or like cacao powder. If you like milky chocolatey fragrances, then this is one that you should definitely add into your collection. Now this is compared to Chocolate Greedy by Montal. They're not the same at all. I guess it's because of the chocolatey note. If you like the note of chocolate and cacao in your fragrances, then this is one that you'll like. And for the price tag, you really can't go wrong. Now, a lot of people say that this does not last on their skin, and I would have to agree. When I first got mine, it did not last at all. But I put it on the shelf, and I let it sit there for a couple months. I feel like it was about almost three months. Picked it up, the juice got darker, and when I put it on my skin, it lasted about seven hours and I was just spraying it on my skin, not on clothes. So definitely if you have longevity issues, let it sit and then pick it back up and see how you feel about it. But this is definitely one that I like and it's very affordable. The next one is one from Al Hermain and I've been wearing Al Hermain before. It was even popular. I remember the first fragrance that I had from them was a darker bottle and this is my number one for every single day use. And it is Al Hermain La Venture Pouf Femme. You can see the juice in here right there, but this is a fresh, a clean. If you like Creta Vences for her, then this is definitely a dupe for that. This lasts longer, is cheaper, and I think this was only $30 when I first got it in my collection. Oh my gosh, talk about like a crisp, clean fragrance. It is so easy to just pick up and go. And you guys, when I bought this, I was not expecting it to be an exact dupe. Now, Creed did send me Vences for her, but when I smelled them side by side, I was just like, y'all, all her main done did it again. So definitely check this out if you were looking for Creed Aventus for her you couldn't justify the price tag then definitely get this one and it's unisex so the fellas is watching right now you could definitely wear this and not worry actually a lot of females probably think that this leans a little bit more masculine but I assure you it is definitely the perfect perfect everyday fragrance and I love this whenever I don't have nothing to wear well I never not have anything to wear when it comes to fragrance but whenever I don't know what to wear or I don't know what I'm feeling that day I could just pick this one up and easily be pleased this next one it's extremely new to my collection but it is a rose heavy fragrance it's basically rose and musk and this is one that you guys been always asking me about and I finally got in my collection and if you like fragrances like roses musk or roses vanille by Montal and Mancera then you'll definitely like this one and it is our Hermain La Ventra Rose now this one is the same bottle but it is a rose gold tint instantly what I get in this is a blast of rose a blast of citruses and a blast of of musk and ultimately in the dry down you do get rose musk and sugar it is so elegant it is so fresh it's like a clean fresh rose so if you don't like rose fragrances stay away from this one definitely go with La Venture the original Pufem but if you like that rose and musky fragrance, then this one is it. I find this extremely elegant. I find it extremely classy. I find this to be a fragrance that a princess or somebody in royalty would wear. It is super elegant. It's minimalistic. It's one of those fragrances if you're wearing it, you're probably wearing all white. You're probably wearing all pastel colors. You're definitely going on a first date. You're going to church. You're going somewhere where you don't need to do too much, but you want people to smell you. This is exactly what this is. And it's really grown on me, y'all. I like it a lot i highly recommend this one it is a must-have in the collection i'm gonna slowly realize that all her main is my favorite middle eastern brand because this next one right here y'all i've had four bottles of this one now i do have one that i've gotten multiple bottles but this is my fourth one and we're about to get the fifth one and it is all her main amber oud rouge it's barely anything there like this is a dupe of baccarat rouge 540 but not the original baccarat rouge 40 this is a dupe of the extrait because this one has that added note of bitter almond that gives it that sexier appeal that the extrait has if you're looking for a solid dupe for the baccarat rouge extrait then this one is it i smelled a lot of baccarat dupes 
And I would have to say this is my favorite out of all of them. If you're looking for that, then this is it. It lasts all day and my husband loves this. And every single time I buy this, I never wear it myself. He's the one that wears this. And he always get compliments. He's always getting stopped. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you wearing? And this is that. This is definitely gonna get you all those compliments. It's gonna get you the girls. It's gonna get you everything that you want a fragrance to get you. The next one is one that I bought five bottles of because I love this. I love a good fruity floral fragrance. And this is definitely more fruity than floral and it's a little bit more tropical and sexy and fresh and this one is my favorite from all her main period and I'm not talking about my favorite for every day I'm talking about favorite period and it is all her main amber oud the gold edition just wanted to clarify I see a lot of you guys always asking which all her main is that which all her main is that they're all gold they all have the gold plate on there but each of them have a different name this is the only one that's called all her main amber oud gold edition this is the only one that's called the rouge edition so definitely pay attention to that because there's gold there's ruby there's blue this is the only one that has gold addition this is sexy if you like fragrances like Jerjoff, Herbapura, Mancera, Jardin Exclusive, then you'll love this one. I love this. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It doesn't lean feminine or masculine. It is definitely a unisex fragrance. You will always get compliments with this. This will last 12 hours on the skin. Every single time I wear this, I can't fake this, you guys. I get compliments every single time. Like, it is a heavy compliment getter. And you guys need this in your collection. Are you trying to smell good? Are you trying to smell like that it girl? Then this is the one that you need in your collection. Y'all, this one right here is my favorite find of 2022. Honestly, everybody knows that Billie Eilish don't last that long. On my skin, I do get six hours, which is perfect for a fragrance that costs $65. But the sillage is there, but it's very moderate and the projection is very moderate. So when I seen that the girls were saying that this is a dupe of Billie Eilish, oh, I had to buy it. And it is, the brass. It's like an exotic dessert. It is so mouth-watering, it's so sexy. Sexy, it's so sensual and it's so alluring. Every single time I wear this, my husband just gets goosebumps because it's so sexy. And it's so feminine at the same time, but it's also masculine. Like a man and a woman could wear this with no issue. Now, if you ask me, it does lean a little bit more feminine than masculine, but my husband wore it and he didn't have an issue. And I love this black and gold bottle. It's just so pretty. I actually like that more than Eilish. I do love the Eilish bottle, but give me anything black and gold and I'm gonna take it straight up. <laughs> This is so sexy, it's long lasting. The projection is crazy, the sillage is amazing. Every single time I wear this, I get 10 hours plus. Even if I'm not trying to, even if I'm just sitting home, I get 10 hours and the sillage, the whiffs, I keep getting is sexy. If you're trying to have the perfect date night fragrance, then the brass is it. I don't know how many times I gotta tell y'all, but get it. It's good. <laughs> this next one is another sexy one for date night. Now this one was compared to Angel Shares by Killian, but I would have to disagree. It is its own fragrance. It smells different and I actually enjoy wearing this more than Angel Shares and it is Camera. Now a lot of you guys have been saying that I'm not saying it right, so I apologize. Somebody please send me a voice on Instagram via DM so I can know how to pronounce it because I don't. But this right here, cinnamon, praline, vanilla, goodness. Oh my gosh, the praline is definitely prominent in this one with the cinnamon note. And every single time I wear this, this was my scent of the night. I just, I just get treated like a queen, even though I am, but you know, couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't contain myself. I wore it with my um, Angel of Mine body oil from Brown Sugar Babe. Let me know if y'all want a body oil layering video. Comment down below because baby, this right here is top tier. I always get compliments with this one. The women seem to love it on me and the men seems to keep drooling every single time I wear it. Super long lasting, high projector, and you just can't go wrong with this fragrance. It is so good. I feel like I'm gonna get another bottle like it's just that good this is another rose fragrance for the rose lover but this is for the girls that likes a creamy aspect this is a creamy rose and sugar vanilla and it is a joie now can we talk about how artistic this bottle is it's a beautiful bottle now the cap is a little wonky but the bottle the packaging is beautiful and the fragrance oh my gosh it's a creamy rose so if you like rose this is one that you will fall in love with if you don't like rose I still highly recommend this because this is definitely a save blind by you really can't go wrong with it it is so sexy it's so alluring and it's a perfect rose fragrance to layer with any fragrance that you have oh my gosh i love this one it lasts all day long all day so definitely get you a joie and having this on your arsenal is just definitely pretty because that bottle is so cute right it's a piece of art 
this artwork. I love it. Now this next fragrance is one that opened my eyes to the world of Middle Eastern. Now I did used to wear Middle Eastern. I was actually wearing them since I was in high school, but this one really made me focus on that style of fragrance, period. And this one is Casablanca. So if you like caramel, if you like apple, if you like those clean, fresh, crisp fragrances, this is it. This is very much giving gourmand. It is so long lasting. It gets me the compliments every single time and a little goes a long way. I love this fragrance. This is amazing for layering as well. If you're looking for a solid caramel apple fragrance, then this one is it. You can never go wrong with Casablanca. This next one is one that I really enjoyed in 2022 as well when I first got it. It is a caramel rose oud vanilla spicy fragrance and it is oud mood. Girl, if you like fragrances like oud bouquet, then you'll love this one. Oh my gosh, you get oud, you get caramel, you get vanilla. Now the oud for me is not as prominent. It is there, but it's not as prominent like oud bouquet. You get more of the oud when you first spray it, but then when it starts to dry down, you get more rose caramel. I think, I wanna say, is it polisanto or praline? But you get one of those and then you get the spicy notes. Oh my gosh, so sexy. And did I mention that it layers amazing with a lot of other fragrances as well? This one will get you compliments. Every single time I wear this, I get crazy compliments. Sometimes I'll be forgetting that I even have it on because it's so strong, my nose go nose blind to it. When my body heats up, it just gets better and better and better. And it feels like it just gets stronger and stronger and stronger. This is a solid, solid, caramel rose and oud blend comment down below what are some middle eastern fragrances that you like comment down below what are some that i need to try this was my list and i'll link everything in the description box below you can find all of these on amazon and you guys know that i love each and every one of you guys if you're new here welcome if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe i'll leave another video for you to watch until we see each other again please 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 stay safe and keep on smelling fragrances bye chair bombs <laughs>